Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated on my latest videos. Today viewers, we are going to discuss or tackle different topics. Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. Today class, we are going to discuss about multiplying decimals. Why we discuss about multiplying decimals? Remember class, to multiply the numbers just like decimals. If they were the whole numbers, line up the numbers on the right. Do not align the, num the decimal points rather. Starting on the right, multiply each digit in the top number by its digit in the bottom number. Just as with whole numbers, then add the products. Another ways. First, you are going to line up the numbers on the right and do not align the decimal point. Second, starting on the right, multiply each digit and the top number by each digit and the bottom number. Just ask the whole numbers then add the products. How do you multiply a whole number by a decimal number? If you want to multiply a decimal by a whole number, just ignore the decimal point. So, just ignore that. And then, you multiply like normal. Then, bring the decimal point back for the answer. Okay? Here we go. Just like this. We're going to proceed to our evaluation. We are going to evaluate the following given problem. Estimate its product. Then, compute for the actual product. So, we are going to solve first for the actual product. Let's do this. For number 1, the given we have 0.35 times 42. So we're going to solve first the AP or actual product by multiplying this. Once please, 5 times 2, the answer is 10. So we're going to bring down 0 class, then regroup 1. Remember, in regrouping, you must be careful. 3 times 2, the answer is 6. Plus 1, the answer is 7. Next, 2 times 0, the answer is 0. Next, 4 times 5, the second digit multiplier. 4 times 5, the answer is 20. So bring down 0, regroup 2 above 3 number, which is the next number being multiplied. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So we're going to write it here. Then, we are going to sum up by putting the, the, adding, the addition sign. Bring down 0, bring down 7, bring down 4, and bring down 1. Remember class, we have the decimal point 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Our answer now is 14.70, our actual product. This is what we call actual Product. Later on, we are going to solve the estimating product. Next, number 2. Point 0.75 times 6. Let's solve it. Start with 5 and 6. Multiply that. That's 30. Bring down 0. Regroup 3. Next, 7 times 6 is 42. Plus 3 is 45. We're going to regroup 4 here. 0 times 6 is 0, bring down 4. Just like that class. When you multiply, remember, any number multiplied to 0, the answer is, must be 0. Okay? So, again class, if this case, this will be the last number being multiplied, rather, we are, are not going to regroup 4. Instead, we are going to write 4 here. We are going to write the whole. 7 times 6, 5, 5 times 6 is 30, bring down 0, 3. 7 times 6 is 42. Plus 3 is 45. So, therefore, class, let's have first our answer 1, 2, 1, 2. It's 4.50R actual product. Okay. Next is number 3. 0 0.63 or 0 0.63 class times 0 
let's proceed to getting the actual product of 3 times 9. We have 27 class. So bring down 7, regroup 2. 6 times 9 or 9 times 6 is 54 plus 2 is 56. Regroup 5. Okay, 9 times 0 is 0. Bring down 5. <clears throat> 3, next number to be multiplied. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 6, 8, 10. Regroup 1. 3 times 0 is 0. Bring down 1. 7. 6 plus 9, that's 15 class. Regroup 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 5 is 13. Bring down 4, regroup 1. This is sum up. <clears throat> Therefore, this will be our actual product. 1, 2, 1, 2. So, we have first here, our actual product. That's for number 3. Next, number 4. <clears throat> 161 times 39. Let's proceed. 1 times 9. The answer is 9. 9 times 6. The answer is 54. Bring down 4. We grow 5. 0 times 9 is 0. Bring down 5. Next, we have, we are going to multiply 3 and 1. The answer is 3. 6 times 3. The answer is 8. 10. So bring down 8. We grow 1. So, 0 times 3 is 0, bring down 1. So, sum up plus, bring down 9, 4 plus 3, next 5 plus 8, <clears throat> that's 13. Regroup 1, so bring down 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. So, let's count the decimal places, 1, 2, 1, 2, that's 23.79, our actual product or AP the short form for actual product okay next class is number 5 the given equation for number 5 is 0.57 times 0.39 same just well just like just ignore the decimal places all we have to do is just like a normal multiplication number we're going to multiply that continuously so 9 times 7 class is 63 all you have to do is to master the multiplication skills so that you will not fail 9 times 5 is 45. Okay, 45 plus 6. That's 51. We go 5. 0 times 9, that is 0. Bring down 5. 7 times 3, that's 21. Bring down 1. Regroup 2. 5 times 3 is 15 class. Plus regroup 2, that's 17. Bring down 7. Regroup 1. 3 times 0, the answer is 0, so plus 1. Sum up. 3, 2, 7 plus 5, 12, regroup 1, that's 2. Okay, decimal places, 22.23. 3 are actual product. Next 6 class, we have 0.54 times 0.59. So let's start. 9 times 4, the answer is 36. Bring down 6, regroup 3 class. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 3. That's 48 class. So regroup 4. 0 times 9 is 0, bring down 4. Next, 5 times 4, that's 20, bring down 0. Regroup 2 above the number. The next number multiply the 5. 25 plus 2 is 27. Regroup 2. Certain so 5 is 0, bring down 2, then sum up class, bring down 6, bring down 8, then 4 plus 7, that's 11, regroup 1, that's 3, 1, 2, are what we call actual product for 1, 2, 6. Okay, this will be the actual product. Next is, we're going to proceed to estimating product for. Estimating product for number one. Number one. This will be our second estimating product class. In estimating product, teacher Ram, how do we do that? 
Okay, class. Since our given equation is 0.35 times 42, so we are going to apply our scales, which is what we call uh, rounding up and rounding down. Remember, class, rounding up is start with five numbers, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Rounding down, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, since 0.35, 5 is the next number to 3. So we're going to write here, class, for our estimating product, that's 40 times 42 since 2 is rounding down, 40 class. It's easy. It's like this. 0 times 0, 0. 4 times 4. Like 0 times 4 is 0. So triple 0. Next, 4 times 0, 0. 4 times 4, 16. Bring down 6, regroup 1. 4 times 0 is 0. Bring down 1. Sum up class. 0, 0, 6, 1. Okay? So... 1, 2. This will be our estimating product for number 1. So, it's okay. Estimating product for number 1. Actual and estimating product for number 1. Next, number 2. Point 0.75 and 6. So, we're going to write here. Point 0.80 times so 6. So, let's have first what we call 10. 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, and then 0, of course. 8, 0. Okay, so our actual product must be 8. Number 3. <coughs> 63, so we have first here. Point sixty times forty zero zero zero. Try to follow class zero six times four twenty four. Bring down four. Regroup two. That's zero. Bring down two. Then sum up class. Same procedure, but we're going to estimate the product. So we have four and two. So therefore, our estimating product is. 24 for number 3 class that's exactly okay that's exactly for number 224.57 so 24 our estimating product next number 4 try to follow guys actually this is easy class once you familiarize the multiplication scale so try to memorize it from 1 to 10 so estimating that 60 times 40 class yeah 1, 2, 3, that's 0. When you multiply 0, because all you have to do is to count the zeros. So that's 4, 24, regroup 2. So times 4 is 0, bring down 2. If you have any comments or suggestions, so just write in the comment section below so that I can answer it. 0, 0, 4, and 2. Okay. Let's count class the decimal places. Here. Wow, class. It's exactly correct. Our actual product is 23.79. Our estimating product is 24. Oh, that's very exciting. This is absolutely correct, class. Shout out to the Enja countries of India. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for spending your time, class. Next number. Five. Let's have first point fifty seven class since seven is rounding up, so we are going to regroup it point sixty. Then point thirty nine, so we can regroup it class forty. Okay, that's here we go. Count zeros one two three, one two three. Then zero, four, two. That's zero. Next two, bring down two class. Remember in multiplying zeros class, the answer must be zero. Four, two. Decimal places class. Careful about our estimating product for number five. Oh, it's okay class. That's good. Next for our number six class, we have 0.54. So this is 
we're going to write 0.50 because 4 is rounding down. 0.59, that's 60 class because that is uh, rounding up. 9. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. One more class. Don't forget to subscribe to Ram's tutorial channel. 0, 30. So bring down 0, regroup 3, 6 times 0, 0 plus 3. Bring down 3. Sum up class. 1, 2, 3. 0, 0, 0. Three, yeah, yes, one, two. Okay, this will be our estimating product for number six. Oh, class, that's exactly our what we call actual product and estimating product class. Okay, hope guys, my dear students, thank you for spending your time to Ram's tutorial channel. God bless to us. And don't forget to uh, write your comments or suggestions in our what you call comment section below. God bless to us. God bless everyone. Thank you for watching Ram's tutorial channel. Don't forget to subscribe it.